Congresswoman, I'll walk with you. Uh, Jeremy Rothkuschel. Okay, go go for it. Thank you. I'm sorry, we've got to get going. Okay, Thank you so much a couple quick them. national security Thank issues, you. Congresswoman. Thank you. You can talk Thank to you. No, no, I need to talk to you. This is about serious national security issues. The issue, the Pentagon, the Pentagon cloud is about to get rid of the, the grand jury system. What Thank type you. Can give you my email. Okay, I really appreciate it, but I also need to talk to the congresswoman. Thank you, sorry. Thank you, congresswoman. The issue of the issue of the Pentagon cloud being put into the hands of Israeli military intelligence, congresswoman. You know that Israeli military intelligence might get the contract for the cloud for the Pentagon, all the data. They have a back door to Russian military intelligence. Do you want to deal with this Article 3, Section 3 issue? Why are you guys blocking? We're just blocking. No, you're not. You're blocking. This is a very serious issue that deserves to, to a moment. I understand. I, I've been walking with her. I'm not stopping her. Can you please give me your uh, contact info? I will. I will send her the contact. But I don't understand why you're, you... She gave lots of time to all kinds of press. She's out of time. Okay, she's walking. When you guys try to stop me from walking with her and talking about a national security issue. Congress, Congresswoman, yesterday was the anniversary of the sorry, USS Liberty, right where is, Israelis killed lots of U.S. Navy men. Now we're going to put the Pentagon cloud in the hands of the same government? It's very weird. What, can I have your email, and then I'll just sure. take all your questions and give them to her, and we'll get back to you. Sure. Um, give me your card, and I'll, I'll email you. And I, I will. I, I will give you. I will give you. Does Does the congresswoman know that Israeli intelligence operatives were arrested on September 11th? We'll both ask, we'll ask her. Well, uh, we're just getting his contact information. What's your name, sir? Or your email? Jeremy W R K at gmail dot com. W R K. And you represent. I represent We the People Press. We don't get paid, but we ask the serious questions. Yes, yes. Yeah. I get that right, too. But I, we have a, ready, a yes. Great, thank you. And I'd like a card, please, if you would have one. You don't have one? No. Okay, do, what, 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 how should I contact you? Do you want me to give you my email address? Sure. Yeah. Just say it. Aaron.McCallum at gmail.com. Okay. Yeah. The, the, M McCallum? M C A L L U M at okay. gmail.com. Okay. Can I give you the flyers that I wanted yeah. for her to sure. have? Of course. Because I've been discussing with this with the local veterans, the local National Guards people. This is a very serious issue. This is about to happen. Okay. You know, the last time that cyber was put in the hands of Israeli nationals was in the run-up to September 11th, when Amit Yaron, the Israeli national who was sheep-dipped in the U.S. Army, was put in charge of the uh, Pentagon cyber infrastructure. Are you aware of that? I you know what? I'm, I'm not. I'm just from waiting okay. for the Congresswoman to okay. get her back to the car. That's my job. So. Okay, I understand that. Okay. okay. Thank you. I appreciate you okay. understanding. Okay. Yes. Well, I, w I do. I would appreciate some understanding from the Congresswoman and her staff about how serious these issues are. This decision about the Pentagon cloud, it's going to come down to Amazon or Microsoft. Microsoft at this point is largely coded in Israel. Israel for decades has been penetrated by the highest levels of previously Soviet intelligence, now Russian military intelligence. They're probably having Russian military intelligence working on F-35s that have been given over to Israel. And now if Microsoft gets the contract, they have just recently bought Adalom, which was started by the three people from the Talpiot program, which is the highest level Israeli military intelligence. Uh, long-term military intelligence planning. And so that is the cybersecurity hands that we're about to pass, potentially, the Pentagon's uh, cloud architecture into. Well, I'll have a discussion with the Congressman about it. And okay. Aaron, you can email Aaron or Aaron will you, and you guys can have a discussion about all okay. of that, and, and we'll just get you into the process. Okay, I appreciate that. Yeah, and I, so cause I, I commit right now. You know, no, I appreciate that. And uh, But I, I, my sense was that the Congresswoman took uh, national security issues very seriously and the issue of wars and veterans. These wars which were started based, are you aware of how the Iraq war was started? I mean, I, I, 
I'm sure you have your opinion and I have mine. No, I'm talking about the, the facts of the Office of Special Plans, Douglas Fife. There was a parallel construction of false intelligence aligned with Ariel Sharon's uh, government in Israel. Are you familiar with the facts? Karen sure, Kwiatowski, I, Lieutenant. I don't want to get Kern. into this conversation okay. with you, sir. I, I don't. I, there's, okay. I think you'll get your answer. That, that is. Okay. Who's going to give me the answer? Do you well, think? Erin gave you her email, uh -huh. and we have your email, so we'll be in touch. Okay. Okay, okay I appreciate that. Yeah. How long have you been pursuing these questions? Which questions? The one that you were asking. The, about the, Israel. Well, there's lots of questions, but the national security questions for at least 15 years in terms of issues of war and peace. What is your major insight that you are so more perplexed by, which, which that drives you? Well, this recent situation where the they just were going to start a corporate Pentagon cloud, outsource the entirety of the Pentagon's data into a corporate cloud. It's either Microsoft or Amazon Web Services at this point. Microsoft is largely coded in Israel. And the history there, I'm, I'm a Jewish American patriot of conscience, so that's the, the stance that I deal with this with. I feel double responsibility because I'm a patriotic American and a patriotic Jewish man. So that's what I'm dealing with. So, put up that the data is going outside the data center, and the security is obviously a little bit more um, uncertain when it's traveling over the web or internet, right? Because is that what the idea? Well, it's being put because in that. Military internet usually is isolated from internet. Uh -huh. concentrate no, but this is if if Microsoft, for example, gets the contract, the ten billion dollar contract, they just recently uh, bought a company called Adalong. Uh, that that the uh, the co-founders are all from the Talpiot program, which is the highest level Israeli military intelligence. It's basically corporate espionage, the insertion of of Israeli cyber firms into U.S. firms, including into obviously into the heart of national security apparatus. They started this company. It's now been bought up by Microsoft. Microsoft is lar uh, Windows is largely coded in Israel at this point. And then they've now incorporated that entire company as the uh, as their cybersecurity sector. Have you sector. tried getting to the Pentagon as to why they're doing it? And what you're no, I just found out about this really, and I'm just starting to get the information out there. So I'm going to check with uh, so. elements of the Pentagon, see what they think about it. What I'm observing is a lot of things are getting outsourced. And because uh, I'm in that business myself, I worked for IBM for nine years. I'm just a supporter. I'm not speaking yeah. for the campaign. But the, the thing is, privacy is the data. I, 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 there was a Fortune 200 company, and we were in a discussion with the CIO, and I was sitting there too. And the CIO of Fortune 200 company said, "Oh no, no, no! My data is not going to the cloud." Uh huh. And this Amazon guy actually was sitting on the panel. He said, "He tried to persuade him, but eventually he said." So how are you going to go to CFO and say I'm going to pay 10x the money to keep data on my data center as against putting on the cloud? It's and not. I've not seen a guy, adult guy, stammer so hard. <laughs> it's not necessarily the, the issue the of the cloud to... per se, although yeah. it does set up because an that's a security inherently issue. security issue. Yeah. yeah. But. Yeah. 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 Tulsi's going to come out in a minute. She yeah. wants to talk to her volunteers. Can uh -huh. we just not shout questions while she's just. I mean, these people spent some of their Sunday with us. And then I'll tell you what, we'll email you. We'll get all here's, that figured out. Here's what I'm willing to bargain with you with. I want to just inform her one or two sentences. I want to let her know that the. the and then I'll leave. Can she just talk to the volunteers? They spent their Sunday with us. Those are our activists. Okay, I, I will leave right now, but I, I am going to let her know. Yeah, I've got okay. your info. I mean, That's cool. No, I, got, I need to let the Congress, the oath sworn Congresswoman and member of the Armed Forces. I don't. mean, neither. I don't. I don't. Okay, I'm just asking that she can talk okay. to the I am. Okay, stop. Talk. I'm just going to leave. Congresswoman, Israeli intelligence was the ones that were arrested on September 11th in lower Manhattan celebrating and with bombs in their white vans. Not Al Qaeda. I'm just informing you so you are aware. Thank you. Have a good rest of the day.